Okay, well, finally going to take some time to give you guys an update on Pixel. It's the start of 2022, and not much has really changed. COVID has been entertaining, that's for sure. But Pixel's doing really good. She does still have seizures, but, you know, on average she has about one a month. And, I mean, she's five years old now, and it's been the same for five years. And she's still kicking. She always bounces back. Completely normal, completely healthy cat. Looking on the calendar, and since I've gotten her, she has had about 189 seizures. 189 altogether. But that's within the past five years. So, in 2017, that's when she started having seizures, and she had 56 seizures just in the year 2017 alone. And then she had 47 seizures in 2018, and then she had 38 seizures in 2019, and 25 seizures in 2020, and she had 24 seizures in 2021. So the numbers have been going down, so kind of annoying but she still has about one or two a month on average uh, yeah there's no rhyme or reason to it but she always bounces back I'm assuming she's just gonna be like this for the rest of her life I'm kind of worried once she gets older when she's like 10 or 15 years old if she still has those violent seizures it'll probably really wear her out but I'll worry about that when we get to it so for those of you that might be interested, this is how I feed Pixel. About a third of a can every 12 hours of this C.D. Hills pate food. This helps her with her bladder stones and urinary tract. And I usually just give ashes a pretty standard Friskies pate. I usually give her about, about like that much every 12 hours. I always put it on one side of her plate. I kind of mush it up. Sometimes there'll be like chunks in it, and I always like break them up so it's like applesauce. And then because the little booger never drinks water, I always add a little bit of water to her food. And then I stir it up so it's almost like applesauce. And then I take her liquid phenobarb. I always keep it in the fridge, shake it up, and then I have to put about 0.75 milliliters, and then I usually put it in the syringe, and then I just drip it right onto the surface of her food, and then I put ashes and food in a separate little glass bowl because he's so special. And I give him about the same, just standard friskies. I'll give him about a third to a quarter of a can. I used to give them more, but then I started noticing my cats becoming little chunkers. And I did not want them to be fat cats, because when your cat is fat, it significantly increases their chances of having heart problems, kidney problems, you name it. I didn't want to have unhealthy cats. So here she is eating. And boy, does she eat slow. Sometimes I'm almost late for work because I have to stick around and watch her eat. Because if I turn my back for even two seconds, this little punk will swoop in and take the rest. Oh, and I also, just to let you know how spoiled they are, I had to make two customized litter boxes after she had her bladder stone surgery she just didn't like lifting her legs very high to climb into the old litter box. So she would just start like pooping and peeing right in front of the litter box and it was driving me crazy. So I could tell by the way she was walking that it's her stomach muscles that were hurting her. So I bought these totes at Target and I actually took a knife and I cut the front down. So it was only like, I don't know, three inches off the ground and she'll walk in and use those, so that makes me really happy. But that just goes to show how incredibly spoiled this little princess is. Oh yeah, and for anyone that owns cats, they never drink their water, ever. 
like they never drink water. It freaks me out. But they piss like racehorses. This is a bag of the dry food that I will sometimes mix up. And, you know, I might give a little bit of that to her maybe every three days or something after she eats all her wet food um, because she absolutely loves the crunchy stuff. Um, she'll wolf it down, but she just gets absolutely no hydration from it. That's what concerns me. So that's why she primarily has the pate all liquid diet. Here's what Pixel likes to do a lot lately, is just lounge behind my PS5. <laughs> this thing pumps out some heat and she is all for it. Yeah, um, PS5s are extremely hard to get a hold of. The only way I was able to get one is because my really good buddy knew a guy. Who knew a guy? lounges on this and then I use a towel to like cover up the wires so she can't like chew on them or anything and I looked it up it's not like dangerous or anything she's not like getting like poisoned or anything like it's just natural electronic heat coming out of the back and she adores it yeah so when I'm just watching Netflix or playing a game or something she uses it as a giant $500 pillow yeah Antoine, tu